Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name's Kenny and this is Astronomass. Tonight I'll be using a small refractor telescope to take pictures of deep space from the comfort of my backyard. This is the hobby of deep space astrophotography and it is the best way to enjoy the night sky. Tonight's target is the Heart and Soul Nebulae. These are two beautiful emission nebulae in the constellation Cassiopeia. They are truly massive and they cover a very large portion of the sky. To capture these two in a single image, you need to have wide field optics and a large imaging sensor. To achieve this, I will be using the William Optics Nightcat 51 April Refractor with its 250 millimeter focal length and the ZWO ASI 2600 MC Pro one-shot color dedicated astronomy camera with its large APS-C size sensor. These two pieces of equipment together provide an impressively wide field of view, but even then it will be just barely wide enough to fit the Heart and Soul Nebula in a single image. To to assist me with framing my target tonight, I'll be using my newest piece of equipment, the ASI Air Plus. This little red box has replaced my old Lenovo laptop and it's safe to say I will never be going back. The ASI Air provides all the necessary functionality I need to run my deep space equipment from the convenience of an app on my phone. I've used the ASI Air a couple times now and I'm still wrapping my head around all the ways in which it can help improve my astrophotography process. The framing tool in the ASI Air is so unbelievably easy to use. I can simply drag my field of view over the object I'm trying to photograph, press go to and the software will handle the rest. The ASI Air will automatically slew my mount to achieve my desired framing and then use plate solving to confirm that it has in fact succeeded. This is incredibly useful when you are trying to utilize your entire field of view and frame a target in just the right way. And if that wasn't easy enough, once you have framed a target how you like, you don't have to do it again if you want to image it in the same way in a future session. All you need to do is go to an image from your previous session, press go to on it, and the ASI Air will slew your mount back to the exact same location as that previous image. I really appreciate this framing feature. This is a level of convenience that I didn't even know existed in this hobby. To round out the rest of my equipment tonight, I will be using the Skywatcher EQ6R Pro mount, the ASI 120 MMS guide camera, and the ZWO 30mm guide scope for auto guiding, as well as the Optolong L Ultimate Duo Narrowband Filter so I can isolate the hydrogen and oxygen gases in the Heart and Soul Nebulae. We're into December now, and here in New England, that means the nights are long, like really long. The sun will set just after 4 p.m. and it won't rise again until 7 a.m. This provides us with 12 hours of true darkness that's perfect for imaging. The Heart and Soul Nebulae will be out all night before setting behind my trees in the early morning, so I expect to get as many as 10 hours worth of exposures on it tonight. The forecast looks great and the anticipation is killing me, so let's get out there and take some deep space photos. So the gear is all set up outside now and so far so good on the first few images of the session. I decided to go with 10 minute sub exposures at game 100 to try and really bring out the fine details in the hydrogen and oxygen gases around these nebulae. Exposures of this length are made possible by an accurate polar alignment good balance, and the impressive tracking accuracy of my EQ6R Pro mount. This time of year feels a bit strange due to the early sunsets. On clear nights, I'm set up and running before I even sit down to have dinner. New England winters may be brutal with freezing temperatures and snow, but really it is an astrophotographer's paradise. So wherever you are, if you're in cold temperatures, I hope you're braving them to capture some deep space photos of your own. For tonight, all that's left is to let my equipment do its thing and I can get started on image processing tomorrow. I hope you enjoy my final image of the Heart and Soul Nebulae, and I'll see you in the next one.